Fox News alert on a new reaction now from the White House as the president starts to get pushback already on calls for a major new tax hike on some. Brand new hour here of America Live. Welcome, everyone. I am Megan Kelly. That if the president gets a bill from Congress that extends all of the Bush tax cuts, including those for the rich, he would veto that bill because he only wants to carve out uh, extending the current tax rates for middle class families for one year. He would veto any other legislation. That drawing fire from the Romney campaign, Andrea Saul saying in a statement, quote, President Obama's response to even more bad economic news is a massive tax increase. It just proves again that the president does doesn't have a clue how to get America working again and help the middle class. That coming from the Romney campaign, and this is where the battle is joined. The White House is trying to say the defining issue of this campaign is tax, fair, tax fairness and that uh, Governor Romney is standing up only for tax cuts for the rich. The Romney camp campaign pushing back saying, look, let's extend the tax rates for everyone, uh, especially because of this struggle in recovery. And they're trying to say it's not about uh, who's standing up for the middle class over the next four years. It's also about the president's record over the last three and a half, four years. So that is where the battle is joined right now, Megan. And the president uh, has failed in the past to get this, this through the democratically controlled Senate. So it's uh, obviously not a purely partisan issue. The Democrats have rejected him on this in the past. Uh, and now some of his critics are saying the timing of this smacks of politics. They say that in, uh, I think it was April or May, there was a very bad jobs report. Then he came out and announced he supported gay marriage. Uh, then he said the private sector's doing fine, took a lot of incoming on that. Then he came out and supported uh, immigration policies that are more relaxed for young illegal immigrants. Then we get a terrible June jobs report and he comes out and announces that he wants to cut taxes for the middle class but raise the taxes. So the, the, the series of events is now suggesting that when he gets a bit of bad news, he comes out and tries to say, you know, look over here. Uh, does the White House take a position on that? Do they say it's coincidental? Is there any comment on that at all? Yeah. In fact, Jay Carney got a question along those lines a few moments ago, pushed back and insisted the timing was coincidental. It is interesting because the president coming out for these middle class tax cuts, he said this before, it's not really that new, so they're making a big deal out of it. The timing is interesting. The last point I would make is that there's also division in the Democratic Party about whose tax cuts to extend. Nancy Pelosi and other Democrats have said it should be anyone making a million dollars or less, not $250,000 or less, so they still have to work that out. Too. Yeah.